So you want to rip your physical Blu-ray discs and make some MKVs, but do you really? All right, so that was a little melodramatic, but honestly, I, I posted this on so many forums and I've held this opinion for a long time that I think the majority of the people that want to do the DIY media server that are looking to rip content off of their discs and not do the full disc, do an MKV-based storage and playback, don't entirely know or, or understand some of the ins and outs of what they're getting into. And while yes, sometimes making an MKV from a movie disc can be a very simple process, sometimes it's not. Um, part of that depends on what type of content you like, because a lot of the complexity, uh, it comes from one of two ways. Either one, the studio decided to mask third of the disc in such a way that they're really trying to make it difficult or combat and challenge the, the ability to do this, or it just had a very complex presentation of the movie itself to put on the disc anyway. Or two, there's some foreign elements, if we're talking like anime, foreign films, science fiction, where there's a lot of aliens and creatures speaking, and managing subtitles off of a master disc itself can be a challenge. In addition to some uh, honorable mention complexities, when you get into things like television shows and, and, and TV series episodes and so on. Um, per the prior videos, I've been kind of back, dipping my toe back into the DIY local media server space for a little bit, both for some of my own reasons, because there's some certain content that I want to be able to structure and have some access to at a disc level quality that I don't have another option to achieve that other than the disc. But I don't want to use discs. I don't want to flip discs. I don't want to use a disc player. If I'm going to do something off of a disc, I want to set it up and in conjunction with the larger NAS that I purchased that I'm going to use or making use of for other things anyway, it, it made sense to explore this and, 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 do the and, and do it for the channel. I'm going to renege a little bit on some of my prior pontificating about DIY media servers in that um, I had made some comments, I think, in the prior videos that I was going to only consider ISOs. I'd explore MKVs for the purposes of the channel, but for any use of mine personally, I would use ISOs. And I, I've done that for some films. We watched a couple of movies, full disc ISO rips and so on. And what I can say is I remember all the reasons that I didn't like uh, a full disc rip having to start playback and wait five minutes for the thing to get through all of the forced initial content and warnings and trailers and so on. So there is a tremendous amount of virtue if you're going to rip and you're going to set up your own media server kind of stuff to go ahead and do it, go the MKV route because you shed all of that extra stuff and even things like special features. Yeah, it's nice to rip a disc if you wanted to maintain access to the special features because quite honestly, if you have the patience to, to tweeze apart all the different elements of a disc release and take all of the special features off individually, you have way more time and, and patience for this, uh, an order of magnitude more than I do. So I, I would only be looking at a main movie, um, MKV. But there's, there's other logistics involved with how discs are put together and how they're mastered. And the reality is that you know, a lot of what we're dealing with nowadays is 4K, and you don't find special features on a 4K disc. Usually a four t uh, in, a, in a physical media release, the 4K disc just has the movie. It has the movie, it has multiple languages and so on, it has the menus and it has the cruft. And if you want the special features anyway, you have to go to the Blu-ray version or the Blu-ray disc that was in the same package. So there's really very little reason, in, in all honesty, I think, or in reality, to keep a, a 4K movie packaged in its ISO or its full disc folder you're making playback effectively harder because there is more prolific playback for something kept in an MKV than there is for a, a menu supporting folder or, or a full disc ISO. The, the jailbroken OPPO has its, certainly has its limitations. The, the PDZ dos and dunes sometimes fumble with the full disc playback, but there's more, much more flawless options and a wider variety of options for playback if you're going to just do the MKV. I will cover storage and playback in some other videos. But what I wanna get into right here specifically is the meat of, I have a disc, how do I get the movie off of it? How do I get my MKV file that has the video stream, the main uh, audio track that I'm looking for? In my case, it would be the best quality English language audio track that's available. And how do I make sure that I get the subtitles right? What tool do I use? What's the process? What does it look like? What are some of the pitfalls? And so let's go into that. Right, right first off the bat, I would say here we're going to be using Make MKV. 
I don't know why you would use any other tool uh, to, to, to take a movie essentially out of a disc grip at this point other than make MKV. If you like another tool, you think it has some virtues, you want to share it with folks, go ahead, post in the comments and, and make some reference to it. MK, make MKV has been around for a long time. It's stable. They have great uh, decryption support. It's basically free if you want to use it for free, although I highly recommend if you, you're going to, or if you are going to make significant use of the tool, pay the developers. It's 50 bucks for a lifetime, uh, lifetime unrestricted access. Uh, make MKV, you can go download the software, install it, set it up. There's great versions for Windows and for Mac. Um, what I've been doing and what I would recommend that you do in terms of setting up in order to make a main movie MKV is first get the entire contents of the disk onto the local computer, onto the local computer's hard drive, particularly, ideally, if you, that computer has a, a very fast solid state drive. The, the actual act of reading the contents, the bits off of the disk on an optical drive is so prone to read errors and failures and such that in this MKV process itself can sometimes be very iterative. And I'll go through exactly how I do the process in the course of this video. So I don't like the chance or, or uh, have to mess around with spinning the disk more than one time. So I strongly recommend, and my, my personal process for doing this is to run Make MKV, put your disk in, do a full disk backup to the local hard drive, and or if, if you'd rather uh, handle that file as an ISO, you could use any DVD as well. In, in any case, get the entire contents of the disk into uh, a structure or an ISO file on the local hard drive. Then when you have that, you can load that file off of the local hard disk into make MKV and do your selections and, and in some cases kind of run your iterative processes. A couple things off the bat that I want to show here when using make MKV is a couple settings that I prefer. Um, one is that in order to do effectively do things the way that I, I would want to do them, structure and manage the information of the file. The, to, the make MKV itself needs to be in expert mode. By default, it is not. I have that box checked. Um, I have a folder that I want the, the results or the output of make MKV to go to by default. So I set that here. I also set the minimum title length pretty high to 600 seconds. Of course, that's effectively 10 minutes. We're looking to rip main movies. In the big list of everything that make MKV can parse off of the disk, I don't want to see all of the small stuff convoluting that. Ideally, I just want to see the movie or in, in some cases, multiple playlists that might represent the movie. So I set that there pretty high. I think everything else through here or on the, on the IO page, I leave that to default. Language, I do set these to English. I'm again, English speaker. I want English language, English language audio tracks and subtitle tracks. By setting these defaults in here rather than, than or by setting them to the language rather than to the default, um, Make MKV will help you by automatically checking off certain things that you would be interested in rather than having to do it manually. Uh, nothing in the protection or the integration or the advanced tab. So after you change some of those settings, it might tell you, well, Make MKV has to restart in order for the settings to take effect. And then you go ahead and restart and you're good to go.